Hi, it's Paul Kalasic, Medical Director of Metabolic MD. Hey, I want to share something that's been bothering me for a long time. Many of you who are my age remember in the 70s and 80s, the government put forward certain dietary guidelines that we were supposed to decrease our fat intake. And of course, what happened since then? What happened since then is we've had an explosion in diabetes and obesity and cardiovascular disease. So what we've learned in recent years that if you ingest fat and included in that fat is cholesterol, it doesn't raise your cholesterol significantly. I understand that this is different from everything you've heard over the last 30 or 40 years, but the more recent studies basically show that fat, eating fat does not make you fat, but that increased cholesterol comes from a conversion of blood glucose in the liver to fat. So when we ingest a lot of sugar, what happens eventually is that sugar is taken to the liver and converted to glycogen, a complex sugar molecule, and then it's converted to fat, and then it's eventually sent to the midsection as fatty acids. But what we found is cholesterol increase in that increases in that conversion process of glycogen to fat and very little cholesterol is raised in the body by ingestion of cholesterol directly. So this is why a low carb, high fat diet doesn't increase cholesterol levels significantly. Because even though you're ingesting more fat and more cholesterol, cholesterol levels don't go up. And in fact, often they go down because what's happening is there is less excess blood glucose in the body, less of that blood glucose is get, getting converted to glycogen and then fat, so cholesterol levels go down. So as a result of a low carb, high fat diet, not only can cholesterol go down, but in the same process you lose weight, control blood glucose better, decrease hypertension and have improved metabolic health. This is why we are big advocates of a high fat, low carb diet.